There's a specific kind of brand that I've really fallen in love with over the last couple of years, and it's a brand called Leica. And they, they're a German company, and they build really high-quality, high-end digital cameras and film cameras. But what's interesting about them is they have multiple different brands belonging to Leica. So they have Leica Camera, which is the, the company who makes the cameras that I love so much. And if you go to... Uh, the Leica website, if you go to Leica.com, you're actually presented with four unique brands doing very different things. So one is Leica, Leica camera, and that's the one that the consumers like like me and professionals buy cameras from. They also have uh, Leica microsystems, and they provide microscopes and very uh, various other things. They say it's a world, a world leader in providing innovative microscopy camera and uh, software solutions for imaging and analysis of macro and micro nanostructures. And then they also have another one called Leica Biosystems, which has relates presumably to some kind of biotechnology, also relying on the lens. So there's a commonality here. And then the third one would be Leica Geosystems, which is their manufacturer and distributor of products and software and systems that capture and visualize process 3D spatial data through the employment of advanced technologies. So the through line between all these things is they're providing a lot of it is visual. A lot of it is lens oriented, whether that is through a microscope or through one of these other digital technologies that are looking at extremely small particles and bioscience uh, to be able to use in whatever they use them for. But the, but the common thread is, is this idea of lens. And uh, I don't know what the, what the overarching idea is, but it's, it's visual, it's, it's imaging. And so rather than having one site that speaks to all four of these different brands, which are all called, they're called Leica, Leica microsystems, Leica biosystems, Leica geosystems, uh, geosystems, and even the, the original one, Leica, is, is like a camera. Rather than having one website that houses all of it, which would be extremely confusing because <clears throat> anyone in these th- four segments would be really confused if they were looking for a camera and then also found a microscope or some kind of other biotechnology uh, system, machine, right? So they break it up into four different brands it, rather than having it, all under the same Leica brand. And I'm not a brand strategist, so I'm not going to play one on TV here, but... The, the point I'm making is that you can serve multiple markets and you can do so, um, even if they're very different, you can do so and still be extremely talented at what you do. Uh, whether that is in my case, I have a co-working consulting business. I help marketers build more profitable independent practices. And I also have a general catch all where if someone comes you know, to me and through referrals or through my network and is looking for help with their marketing, if they're qualified, I'll show them that website and I'll say, yeah, basically I help you build the systems and structure and people to build out an effective marketing program that, uh, that grows your business. And so I put those things in three different websites, Everspaces, Kevin.me and KVNW.com, which used to be my agency website. So the point I'm making is that you, you can serve multiple markets. Now, like as a big company, not a massive one, but a big company, uh, but what they've done and what I recommend doing is creating you know, multiple different microsites. So if you're going to serve multiple markets, if you want to you know, come across as expert in any one area or at least speak in a way that resonates with people, you can have the benefit of being hyper specialized in the case of Leica with their microsystems or biosystems or geosystems. Each of those would be an extremely advanced technology that relies on the optics and the visual component but they should be in different places. They should have different websites. So even though if you go to Leica.com, it links off to these four different websites, uh, Leica-cameras, et cetera, et cetera. Um, then at least when people are looking for a camera and they look Google Leica cameras, they're going to find the appropriate website for their particular needs without being confused by who are these other folks and how does that relate to what I do. Now, looking at this, you know, I, I believe the market is smart. If the market finds out that you have multiple niches or multiple websites, they're not going to be like, well, I guess he's not good at or she's not good at any of this stuff. They're going to go, okay, I can see that there's a through line here. Your expertise is in optics and visuals and technology, or in my particular case, marketing strategy uh, consulting. So I can see how you would be able to apply that to multiple different verticals. And I, and I get that, you know, I don't need to see the micro systems or the bio systems products, it would be really confusing. So I appreciate that there is a place that I can go to that only speaks to my specific needs. I'm talking on behalf of the market here and doesn't confuse me with other things that are vastly out of my jurisdiction. So I believe my, one of my, a core part of my methodology is to have something kind of general that usually under your own name, or maybe a, maybe a brand name, if you want, in the case of KVNW, um, 
it's having something that's like, hey, I help people build marketing systems, strategies, and teams to create a performance-driven marketing program for you know organ B two B organizations or, or or you know businesses. If you want to be really general, as long as you don't market that general thing, it's really hard to build a business as a generalist. It just makes it so that all of your marketing is quite flat. Really hard to build an email list. Really hard to go deep on any degree to any degree of specialization. I think it really does stunt your growth as a marketer as well by staying general, even though I believe in diversity, I like working with multiple different groups, but by going deep on different industries, it allows me to have a much deeper level of granular expertise and a methodology for that specific target market, which makes it a lot easier for me to get clients because I can just talk about my unique skill. I'll be like, yeah, if you want my like a biosystems tool, like I'm one of three people who do this and that's where we specialize. So, you know, it allows you to really learn what mastery looks like and to develop a methodology that's very rigorous and repeatable for a specific target market, making your marketing easier, making everything else easier. <clears throat> so that's, that's there. And the key there is just having different doors for people to go into. One is here's my horizontal specialization as a brand strategy consultant, as a marketing strategist, as a something, and then leave that there and make it, keep it general, keep it, allow it to speak to people, at, at very, people you've worked with in the past of various different industries, but then go build your niche thing and build that on a separate website. And it doesn't have to have a landing page that launches four different websites. Have it just be a standalone separate website that, uh, that speaks to a very specific target market or, and or skill set. It can be horizontal or vertical, uh, horizontal being your skill, vertical, uh, positioning would be your, the target market. So it can be very focused on one or both of those axes, but then but then have that and use that to go to market and really market that uh, aggressively. And because you have basically not only a sharper tool to cut through the noise, you also have much more relevant copy, much more relevant services. You can build your services around the customer segments within that vertical, for example, uh, versus how much access to me do you want or how much of this type of service do you want that I deliver? And so it allows you to really kind of focus your services on who's buying it, not so much on uh, what you do for them. And that makes it just way easier to buy. People know, okay, this is for me. I know what to, I know what to buy here. So that, all that is to say is having something general, like, yes, to recap, having multiple niches is fine as long as you build one at a time and don't try to go into three different markets at one time. It's confusing. You can consolidate and have audience pages and have two or three different audiences on one page. But uh, that's only, that, that can be effective depending on how good you are at drumming up business. Uh, it does water down your positioning a little bit. But again, the market is smart and they can see that you, as long as you have experience in their in their industry, they're going to be happy with that. But if those if those industries are too different, then you may want to decide to break it up and to go deep on one of them on a separate consulting website. Uh, so you can be a generalist and a specialist at the same time. Just keep your general thing over there. Uh, don't worry about marketing it. I wouldn't necessarily promote it unless you're somehow really good at it. Uh, but instead, focus on the niche component, which is going to help you gain more traction, charge higher prices, do better working, and, and really get a taste for that mastery, that deeper expertise. So I just wanted to use this as an example because, A, I love Leica's, and B, you know, I didn't even know all these other businesses existed. I knew they had more than one in the back of my head, but I had to go to Leica.com to, to learn uh, because I would always go to Leica cameras if I wanted to go to their website for the cameras, right? So, um, <clears throat> And it doesn't make me feel like they're less credible as an organization. In fact... It just shows they can do advanced work because they have that through line, which is the optics and technology. So um, just want to use that as an example in the wild to prove that you can be a specialist and a generalist at the same time, or at least have multiple specialties, <clears throat> multiple verticals, multiple areas of expertise. That's totally fine. Uh, but build one at a time, keep a home base that de-risks niching. Niching still takes years, still takes time to develop traction but have a home base that is general so you can catch opportunities through your network, which is where a lot of my opportunities come from. People ask me, hey, can you help me? Or I know someone who needs help with marketing. That's what you do, right? Can you help them? At least you can then take on qualified prospects, but you don't have to market yourself as a generalist. Go out and find a niche, find an area of focus, build something that's highly relevant to your target market. And ideally you don't have a ton of other competitors. You've got a handful um, max of competitors because you've decided to focus on such a specific level that you're very unique and you have a unique way of doing things. So that's it, my friends. Have different doors for different areas of specialization. You can have multiple areas of specialization, but build one at a time. And uh, yeah, and then eventually it doesn't take much to keep those balls rolling, but it does take a while to get the ball rolling. That's why you want to de-risk by having something more generalist on your website, on, on a generalist website. 
Okay, my friends, hope that helps. There's obviously nuances and you can do your own things with this, but I just wanted to kind of prove in the wild that this is possible. Oh, and before you go, if you want more strategies, tactics, and ideas for helping you create a more leveraged and profitable marketing practice, head over to kevin.me slash subscribe. You'll find a free crash course on how to go from doing to advising and educating, ultimately helping you build more leverage around your expertise, not just your hands. So that's kevin.me slash subscribe. And if you're watching this on YouTube, be sure to subscribe to future videos as I plan to create a little more of them as time goes on. So thank you so much and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.